Can I ask what your reaction was when you first read the script from Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen. Be honest now. I look at I. I was amazed at the complexity of it, uh, that it was uh, so challenging, the range of emotions, uh, every color in the palette. Mine happened to be of a darker hue. <laughs> that was part of the challenge with the character of Luke, because right. I felt like I couldn't have him on the island because he's a coward or he's given up. He had to have an active reason he was there. His reason is he genuinely believes the Jedi are a hindrance to the galaxy, and right. so it actually turns it into this kind of heroic act he's taken on his shoulders right. of. He knows his friends are suffering, and he's making the choice to do the most painful, difficult thing for him, which is take himself out of, out of the fight. Well, you have to trust someone. You know, <laughs> as long as I was able to express my uh, reservations about Luke, because you, you can't help but feel some uh, measure of ownership, you know, like Luke wouldn't say that, Luke wouldn't do this. But once we had that conversation, my job was to wipe out what Mark Hamill wants and <laughs> do my best to realize Ryan's vision. And I thought, I'm going to turn over everything. I you usually have an inner um, mechanism that says, well, this feels right, this doesn't feel right. But all throughout the process, I just said, you know, he'd say, we got it. And I said, shouldn't we do one more? And he said, no, we got it. Well, I said, well, Ryan, if you're happy, I'm happy. And I just, he was my seeing eye dog. So uh, if, I, if I've if i succeeded in any way, it's all because of Ryan. And also if I fail, it's also because of <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Daisy. See, a Jedi never takes responsibility. <laughs>